My whole life, I've been interested in building things, figuring out how things work. My grandfather could build anything. There was nothing he couldn't do. Having that ability to create um, was something that I always aspired to. There have been times where I'm working in the garage, designing something, and I'll have ideas about something at work. My name's Andrew Dunn, and I'm a professor of biomedical engineering at UT Austin. My lab builds custom microscopes for studying how the brain works and how the neurons communicate with one another. I was first introduced to lasers through my father, who was a type 1 diabetic. He would go into the hospital and have laser surgery on his eyes. To me, lasers seemed like some things out of a science fiction movie. And it was just fascinating to me that they could actually be used to treat people. We're trying to study how the brain repairs itself after an injury like a stroke. He has developed this magnificent laboratory and exceptional research. As the blood flows in the brain, he can see where the blood has started creating clots. In a traditional medical image like an x-ray, the doctor sees a static picture in the imaging techniques that we develop, we're able to track the changes in the brain to better diagnose tissue as they're operating, which will ultimately lead to improved healthcare for people. What Andy has been able to do is to use optical techniques to really see the very early stages of clots in the brain. The ability to visualize blood flow during neurosurgery in real time allows the surgeon to easily identify areas that have potentially have reduced blood flow. Doing it continuously as the blood flows on the surface of the brain gives us the opportunity to image, to see where clots first develop. If those areas are not identified and they're potentially treatable, they oftentimes won't show up until several days later where the patient suffers a stroke. Our lab is at the intersection of physics and neuroscience. What we're trying to do is figure out what actually goes on in the vasculature in your blood vessels at the deep biological level, what's happening and how can we correct it faster and better. I'm very passionate about teaching, working with students, seeing them develop as engineers and scientists is probably the most rewarding aspect of my job. He's all about the big picture. Um, which I appreciate. It gives me a lot of purpose and meaning to know that we're trying to solve the big issues. Now that we have taken the first steps into the clinic, I think we're beginning to scratch the surface. I think we're going to make enormous strides in how much we understand about the brain. The imaging technologies will play a major role in unraveling how the brain actually works.